A little bit more about how this is wired up. The wiring is straightforward. You have power and ground, which I soldered into those two points on the board. And then the other, the X, the Y, and the button, I soldered onto this side into analog. Let me see which analog was that. I think it's eight, nine. 8, 9, 9, 8, and then digital 7 is the push button. Put them down here because they're just closer to the stick and it was cleaner to solder. I didn't use any headers or anything. This is a bare board with solder uh, because I'm tight on space. The board has a couple LEDs as you can see. This is power and then there's a transmit and receive. So this has all been wired up and it actually connects. One weird thing, slightly obnoxious, I found with Windows 10 is when I went into the game controller area, I the app kept locking up and coming up with non-responding, non-responding, and I didn't know what was going on. I programmed a separate board. I used a separate controller. It's something to do with Windows 10. I have not figured it out, but I did find a very handy, and let me write this down for you, a very handy site for testing this. Look for HTML Gamepad, HTML5, sorry, gamepad.com. And this is a uh, website that will test any of the game controllers you have hooked up to your Windows 10 computer. Uh, I, it picks up the micro fine, it picks up the Xbox controller fine, so I don't know what is wrong with dear Windows. But it's working. <laughs>